I'm about to end this man's whole career. And you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? When you've asked me, you've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more, it, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's what I'm asking for examples. Can, I, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. I, I, honestly, you I can't don't, name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore, because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you actually, a lot of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only, well, I only well, the hang on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I, well, I, then I, how did you see the hateful content? Content? Because I've been, I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. You can't give us more. And I'm saying, then I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny, who doesn't like a good murder mystery? And last night, the BBC was murdered by Elon Musk. Meet a man named James Clayton. James Clayton is the BBC North America tech reporter. He is based in San Francisco. You can see that here by his Twitter avatar profile background. James Clayton is a smug a-hole from England who works for government-funded BBC. Now the BBC was butthurt this week because they were labeled as government-funded media on twitter.com and so james clayton decided it would be good to go over and try and rub elon's nose in it ask him for an interview ta 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 emailed him saying by the way if you ever want to do an interview i live in san francisco let's do an interview and he got back to me straight away saying all right let's do tonight uh 8 p.m uh, which was kind of bizarre i almost didn't re didn't believe that it was going to happen and Oh, but it did happen, ladies and gentlemen. It did happen, and Elon Musk set some preconditions. One, uh, you can film it, but it has to be live-streamed on Twitter Spaces, so a Twitter platform functionality that does live audio from events. It's a very cool feature. So Elon Musk did the interview streaming live on Twitter Spaces and then also filmed by the BBC Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, it did not work out well for them. I said the BBC could come on Twitter. Then, to my surprise, a reporter shows up. And what happens next? The greatest exchange in the history of TV interviews, most likely. This will go down in Cooperstown. So the reporter, this smug, prog, left-wing reporter, tries to manufacture a narrative that Elon Musk is allowing hate speech. Okay, that's the setup here. And watch how Elon Musk absolutely ends this noob's career. You don't like or or hateful? What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if something I'm, is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is that I'm what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm <laughs> well, saying. Well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if, and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't need, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore, because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you actually, said a lot of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only, well, I only well, look well, at hang on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I, well, I, then I how did you, you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right, and you can't give a single I, I, one. And, and, and I'm saying I've, I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't be a single example of hateful con of content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no no what I claim was. <laughs> Uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on my feed or example. not, I mean, I, right, and Literally if you, you look at someone one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, U in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? that? I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content, 
and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then how would you know the table content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, well. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so what is happening here is, one, the destruction of this man's career. This man is being utterly destroyed across the internet. Mr. James Smug Ass Clayton, Mr. Tati Tata, Mr. British Smart Tech Reporter. You don't know what you're talking about. Elon Musk destroys ill-prepared BBC reporter in car crash interview, accuses him of lying about Twitter hate speech being on the rise. Yes. What's happening here is the Socratic method. The Socratic method is, of course, being employed here by Elon Musk. Elon Musk is asking the question back to the interviewer, essentially saying, OK, what about this question in reverse? This would be a very, very smart tactic for Republican presidential candidates to use people who are being held to different standards to hold everyone by their own standard. Ask the question back to the questioner. And of course, what is this guy doing? Well, this guy's doing exactly what he's paid to do to regurgitate and vomit left wing talking points funded by left wing think tanks, George Soros, Bill Gates, to say that anything that they can't control and anything that won't immediately censor on demand is misinformation. Glenn Greenwald is great thread on this perfect illustration of how scumbag reporters work. BBC hack claimed that he's seen more hate on Twitter when asked about it. He can't name any examples. Then he says that a organization funded by U.S., EU, and neoliberal billionaires said it. After getting caught red-handed reporting and lying, this BBC reporter finally pretends that he has no view, just repeating the claims of ISD Global. ISD Global. Fearfully independent global organization dedicated to empowering solutions of extremism. Yeah, that sounds more like banning you for putting up memes or putting you in jail for putting up memes. Wow, look who funds IDS Global. A bunch of government groups, Facebook, uh, the Open Society Foundation, that's George Soros, Swedish Ministries of Justice, a bunch of neoliberals. It's clear how the scam works. The US, EU, big tech, same handful of neoliberal billionaires, Gates, Audemar, Soros, fund disinformation experts who smear any sites they cannot control or will not censor on demand as being vectors of hate and disinformation. So Glenn Greenwald said, of course, uh, they did this to him and... Uh, Man, Elon's been having a field day. Elon Musk responding to the executive producer of our show, ALX. ALX, look at him go. 405,000 followers. Now on to a million. Not clickbait. Elon Musk destroys BBC Live on Twitter spaces. Not safe for work warning. <laughs> According to Elon Musk. Elon Musk and the memes are flowing today. Elon Musk woke up today. He chose violence. <laughs> See ya, BBC. The new CEO of Twitter is amazing. Elon Musk referencing his dog being the new CEO of Twitter. Uh, Elon Musk also said this during the interview. Honey, I'm, I'm not the CEO of Twitter. My dog is the CEO of Twitter. Okay. Have you got, <laughs> have you got any... It's a great dog. Other than the it's dog. It's very alert and it's hard to put, get anything by it. I, I'm not CEO anymore. Okay, you're, you're chief twit? Or what are you? No, no I, my, my dog Floki is the CEO. Okay. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh, man. David Sachs, friend of the show and a, a strong ally of Elon Musk says, why is there so much hate speech on Twitter? Can you give me an example? Uh, just one. Uh, people say, people say all sorts of nonsense. You don't know what you're talking about. Let's move on. Reporter gets completely bodied. Now we'll never know if he likes the BBC, Elon Musk tweets in response. What does that mean? What is that in reference to? Well, Elon Musk, at the end of the interview, this was not broadcast by the BBC. I cannot believe that they broadcast the complete plastering of their reporter. I mean, Elon Musk just bodies this man. There is no coming back from this. Splintered to a thousand pieces. Elon Musk asked him at the end of the interview, do you like the BBC? Oh, this is just juicy. What questions I have. Um. <laughs> do you like the BBC? Do you like BBC? Okay, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, I can't no, interview. We have work for the BBC. So okay, you like, do you like BBC? I know, I see what you're doing. I'm not going to respond to that. Okay. <laughs> I think you can finish this. <laughs> if you want to continue, thank you very much. Well, you know, well come on. It's 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 what, surely you like BBC. Come on. Um, I'm not engaging. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Elon, it honestly has been a pleasure okay. talking to you. Well, it really has. And if, um, you wanna, if you want to carry on answering questions on, 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 on this, then, then go for it. But I'm not, I'm not going to. Okay, well, I'm just trying to figure, see if there's like any you know, good... There's a lot of comments here. Okay, so do you like BBC? Yes, no, BBC. <laughs> oh, man. When you're a straight news reporter and you become a meme, you are doing it wrong. Penetrating deep and hard with the BBC, Elon Musk says, as people share this. This has 12 million views. 12 million views. Him destroying the BBC. Look at that. They've got the memes. Grand old meme here. There has never there has been a rise in hateful content on Twitter. NPC reporter Elon Musk speaks to NPC. <laughs> and here's James Clayton tweeting out a photo of Elon Musk taking questions after the interview. So usually the interview leaves the interview. Interview subject. Interviewee leaves the interview. Elon Musk is now taking questions on spaces. How how is this man able to tweet from the grave? Because he is deceased. Uh, Elon Musk then took questions. On Twitter.com, from Twitter headquarters, he doesn't, he doesn't have to leave. He owns the building. Of course, hopefully not for long, meaning I hope that he moves the building out of San Francisco. I hope that Elon Musk retains ownership of Twitter for a very long time. He answered a question from our intrepid executive producer uh, about Douglas Mackey sharing a meme, getting put in prison for it. Elon Musk and ALX having a conversation. Check it out. I've been uh, on Twitter um and and the thing is, like, even I, I even get trolled, and I'm like, God damn, I, like, I, why did I get trolled again? That was really dumb. right. Yeah, so, like, I get trolled every I, day, and it's like, ah, oh, well, you know, part and parcel of being on Twitter. Yeah, it's totally. Is worth on, it. That, on that note, did you see the guy who got charged for a meme on Twitter? What were your thoughts on that? I know you commented on it. I didn't know if you got to look more into it. His name's Douglas Mackey. Oh, that's the guy who. Uh, I guess was accused of election interference or something. Yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> he, 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 even that's a counselor for you your, your vote or something. <laughs> yeah, like people shouldn't believe everything that they see online, and you know, I don't think that should be criminal. No, I, uh, I think criminal is a that's a, it's over the top. There, I would agree with that. That they went too far. Um, you know, if if that's the standard for uh, throwing someone in prison, then there should be a lot a lot of people in prison. Yeah, what are you in prison for? Oh, meme crimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yes, ALX asking the right questions. This was happening past my bedtime. I got a couple kids. ALX, ladies and gentlemen, go give him a follow. 405,000 followers. Half milli. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody who's not going to get a lot of followers out of this is James Clayton. James Clayton destroyed his career. James Clayton should delete his account. James Clayton apparently has more Elon for us. Plenty more Elon to come, he tweeted six hours ago. Look at this smug British a-hole, baby. Way to dump hot tea on yourself, you prick. You gone done it. Elon deleted your career. This guy is now just the absolute toast of the town. We needed a little more content, so thank you, Elon. Come correct if you're going to come at Elon Musk, clearly. And don't you dare touch the actual CEO of Twitter, Mr. Doge. Ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk is doing his best to try and save free speech. We are doing our best to try and save America. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. It's your boy, Benny. See ya. Thank you for watching our channels here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.